First to 10, one week from today, a new rule to help determine whether immigrants will be allowed to enter the country or be granted legal permanent residency will take effect. Homeland Security will ask a series of questions to predict how likely the person will become reliant on public benefits. The government calls it the public charge rule, while critics say it's a wealth test. ABC 7's Maria Serrano reports on how this new rule changes things. It's not a new law. It's just a, a new a new way of looking at it, giving the officers additional information to make that determination. Immigration is going to be looking into uh, whether or not this person is going to contribute to society um, or if they're going to struggle while they're here. There's even a new form called the I-944 form looking to discover if that person is self-supporting in order to be in the U.S. Including someone's health, their age, their educational level, whether or not they speak English, and they also go into the public benefits that someone has received. Have they ever received Medicaid? Have they received food stamps? An officer before, those questions didn't matter for them. But now the officer is going to be like, wait a second, are they, is she going to be a public benefit or is she going to be a public charge? USCIS, or the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, will also ask for an applicant to supply their credit report history. And I just think that's so interesting that the government's going to ask for something because many of our many individuals, they don't have a credit score because they've never worked, they have no assets. But they're going to ask for the assets of the individual, like where do they live, what's their house worth, what's their cars worth. They're going to ask for their bank statements, if they have any money in savings. Um, their work history, and so they, they just, they're going to delve more deeper into the personal lives of people. Parkin tells me he believes there will be more denials. When a USCIS officer gets to look at the case, they are giving a m more latitude to deny individuals based on this public charge than they ever had before. Before, it was just if the sponsor or the petitioner made enough money to support their spouse, then um, usually everything went fine. In Amarillo, Maria Serrano, ABC 7 News. Now, Parkins says there are some benefits that won't be considered under the admissibility rules, such as those who previously received uh, money when the applicant was a child, if they're serving in the military, or by pregnant women on Medicaid. There is a legal challenge making its way through the courts, but last month the Supreme Court decided the rule could go into effect while that case progresses.